discussing about sparse matrix representation. So it's your master, Nelvin Batalia. Okay. Before we proceed, let us know first what is sparse matrix. So sparse matrix is a matrix in which many or zero, many, most of the elements have a value of zero. In computer programming, a matrix can be defined with a two-dimensional array. Sparse matrix contains a majority of zero elements. Okay. So, today, we will be discussing a 6x8 sparse matrix. So, in our representation, a matrix can be categorized into three sections, namely the row, the column, and the value. So, let us know first what is row. Row is the index of row, where zero and non-zero elements are been located. Next one is the column. Column is the index of column where zero and non-zero elements have been located. And the last but not the least is the value. Value of the array where elements are located at index column, row column. So now masters, since I don't have a laptop or a PC to write the code, Okay, it's a good thing that we have here an uh, alternatives for C. So we will use now CPP Droid for C uh, compiler at the alternative. So uh, include studio.h and uh, we will now uh, uh, create a code to display and store this sparse matrix. So, int, int main, uh, void, and uh, we will uh, initialize the variables. Our, the name of the, our array is temp, and uh, our first subscript is 6, and the uh, second is 8. So, I will initialize two variables for the two subscripts. It's uh, x and y. So, uh, I place key. We will use that later. So, print f. I will now uh, will display that in enter values below. Okay, it will prompt the user. After that, we'll uh, use a uh, nested loop for the first subscript. We will uh, use nested loop. It's uh, x equals zero and uh, x uh, less than six since it is the first subscript will represent x and uh, our condition will be uh, x plus plus x plus plus x plus plus okay so and uh, after creating a loop okay before that we will uh, a uh, place a, a comment because it's a good thing in writing a program it's uh, ethical okay so uh, we will uh, print the command here in our uh, condition is that it will print input values for okay so we will create again a loop inside the loop so it will be the second loop okay our con uh, condition here is uh, sy was zero 
why uh, less than 8 because the 8 is the uh, second subscript and the uh, condition is y plus plus so i uh, will print f and uh, we will uh, name the array temp and uh, we'll use percent %d percent %d for the two subscript and uh, we will um, we will name the two variables okay so we'll uh, scan f for the uh, what do you call that scan the uh, person d for the uh, name of the array and uh, to display uh, to scan uh, input values so will be the variable x and y and uh, after that outside the second loop we will place the uh, print f uh, new line because if it is true it will print new line so we'll place a uh, comment again because it's a good thing to uh, write a program to avoid uh, confuse confuseness okay to print array elements in matrix form so we will now create a code to print array elements in matrix form so uh, we will uh, print a sparse matrix elements so uh, elements uh, new line and the uh, we will create again a loop nested loop so it will be uh, for the x equals 0 x uh, less than 6 and the condition is uh, x plus plus okay after that loop we will uh, create uh, another loop again it's for the variable y the second subscript y will be equals 0 equals 0 y uh, less than 8 because it's the second subscript and the uh, y plus plus recognition so okay after that uh, inside that uh, condition it will uh, command to print uh, person D uh, temp uh, for our subscript uh, X and the uh, Y Y okay okay mm, we've created a two nested loop a one nested loop so after that uh, outside that loop we will uh, print uh, We will place the um, how do you call that the command print f 
new line okay it is in the condition goes false it will uh, print new line so uh, okay after that uh, we will now place uh, another comment okay it's uh, to print uh, non-zero elements uh, in matrix form so we'll create another code again it will be for the uh, printing non-zero elements we will be uh, writing uh, printf uh, will be for uh, for uh, printing non-zero sparse elements so as uh, so what you can see here our uh, our code is uh, hard to uh, identify because uh, we can uh, can see what we are writing it will be a trial and error but it's okay we will be uh, okay so it's a sparse matrix and we will now create the uh, loop again for the uh, printing and zero sparse elements so we will uh, create the uh, uh, the call that we will now begin to create a uh, uh, for loop so uh, in creating for loop uh, again our the uh, our subscript now is uh, 6 so uh, our variable is x 6 equals 0 and uh, x less than uh, 6 so uh, the condition will be uh, x uh, plus x plus plus okay created in instant loop okay so inside that inside that loop we'll create another loop it will be for the second variable for the second subscript why it will be a uh, be for uh, for loop y equals a uh, it's a uh, it's hard to type no so we will create a loop the uh, loop again will be the uh, y equals uh, zero and the uh, y less than 8 this second strip and the y plus plus the condition okay it's uh it's right so okay it's good so after that we will now uh, use uh, another uh, condition another statement an if statement so we will uh, be using an if, if statement and uh, so they can uh, observe the key k 
key variable and are now being used so we will use key okay so through the uh, uh, key we will uh, place an if statement so it will be f key is not equal to zero so it will be the if statement and uh, the command of that if statement will be the uh, will print the non-zero element if the key is not equal to zero therefore it is a non-zero element so it will print and the uh, okay uh, print f uh, percent uh, d we'll, uh, place percent d okay um, second the two subscripts variables x and y okay so now it's uh, good outside that statement we will place a command it will, uh, it will be a printf new line it will print new line if the condition is false so print new line and uh, will uh, terminate the loop okay that's it We've uh, finished our code. Oh, we will now uh, place the uh, comment again because we will be uh, creating another code for printing array elements in triplet form or triples. So to print array elements in uh, triplet form so after that we'll, uh, use, uh, we'll generate a code again uh, okay we will uh, use a printf new line okay uh, it's hard to guess what I am typing so for now we will uh, place uh, printf include the row the column and the uh, value for the uh, triplet form in the new line for printing the values so we will uh, again the what we will be using in this uh, 
approach now will be will be using again another nested loop inside that nested loop there will be a loop and then if statement okay so same process we will uh, write the for loop for diverse uh, variable for subscript x and uh, 6 and uh, for the second is y and 8 so we will uh, create now uh, an f statement so if I uh, oh wait so okay it's done now we will create uh, if statement So, okay, we will place an if statement. So, we will place a command inside that if statement. If key is not uh, equal to zero, the command will be to print um, person D, person D, and person D for the uh, row for the column and for the value so it's a uh, it's hard to guess Oh, it's there. Yeah. Oh, it's compilation error. There must be an error, so we will uh, find the error and we will. Uh, fix it okay there okay um, there's another error what can we uh, this error uh, we will see okay okay success um, though it's not yet uh, confirmed uh, we will run the our program so we will enter our values for temp uh, call row 0 column 0 1 0 0 0 two zero 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 and uh we're proceed to temp 
row one, column zero, and so on. Two atem, row two, column zero, and then so on. Uh, we will place uh, main e zero because it's a uh, sparse matrix. Okay, uh, for the temp call row four, column zero, zero, zero. Okay, for the temp five, column zero. Okay, okay, that's it sparse matrix elements then zero sparse elements and the uh, triplet form okay although uh, this yes, what we can see earlier the uh, triplet form are not yet uh, arranged so the spacing and the uh, that's it let us proceed to our matrix structure so here are six by eight sparse metrics so let's take a glimpse again in my uh, video clip explaining the uh, transpose of matrix structure into triplet structure so our array now this is our array this is called the uh, matrix form so we will now uh, transpose the matrix form into triplet form so this is the triplet form So now, we'll transpose it. So as what we can see here, this part, this is the row. Row index 0, row index 1, row index 2, and so on. And this one, the column, column index 0, column index 1, column index 2, and so on. So we will start from row 0, column 0. So, is there is there a uh, non zero value in row zero column zero? Okay, there is. So we will include that in row zero column zero, and the value is one. We will proceed from column zero from row row zero. To column 1 the value is 0 so it is not included row 0 column 2 not included row 0 column 3 value is null row 0 column 4 okay the value is 2 okay row 0 column 4 value is 2 row 0 column 5 null row 0 column 6 null row 0 column 7 null okay now that we're done we'll proceed to row 1 column 0 so what you can see row 1 column 0 value is null row 1 column 1 value is null row 1 column 2 the value is 3 okay row 1 column 2 value is 3 row 1 column 3 value is null row 1 column 4 value is null row 1 column 5 okay the value is 4 
row 1, column 5, the value is 4. Okay, we will proceed to row 1, column 6, value is null. Row 1, column 7, value is also null. Now that we're done, we will proceed to row 2, column 0. Row 2, column 0, the value is 5. We will write here row 2, column 0, value is 5. Row 2, column 1, value is null. Row 2, column 2, okay, the value is 6. The value is 6. Row 2, column 3, value is null. Row 2, column 4, value is null. Row 2, column 5, value is also null. Row 6, column... Row 2, column 6, value is also null. Row 2, column 7, value is also null. So we will proceed to row 3. Row 3, column 0, value is null. Row 3, column 1, value is null. Row 3, column 2, value is 7. Row 3, column 2, value is 7. Row 3, column 3, value is null. Row 3, column 4, value is 8. Row 3, column 4, value is 8. Row 3, column 5, value is null. Row 3, column 6, value is null. Row 3, column 7, value is also null. So now we will proceed to row 4, column 0. Row 4, column 0, value is null. Row 4, column 1, value is also null. Row 4, column 2, value is null. Row 4, column 3, value is null. Row 4, column 4, value is 9. Row 4, column 4, value is 9. Row 4, column 5, value is 1. 4, column 5, value is 1. Row 4, column 6, value is null. Row 4, column 7, value is also null. And now, the last row, we will proceed to row 5. Row index 5. So, row index 5, column 0. So, the value is 2. Row 5, column 0, the value is uh, 2. Row 5, column 1, the value is null. Row 5, column 2, the value is also null. Row 5, column 3, the value is also null. Row 3, column 4, there is a value. It's 3. Row 5, uh, column 4, the value is 3. Row 5, column 5, value is null. Row 5, column 6, the value is null. Row 6, column 7, the value is also null. So here, as what we can see, our triplet form are now complete. So it is the uh, non-zero elements. Okay, masters, now that we're done in our part 1 of our video, part 2 will follow.